Hey Froggy friends, Kiro Style here, welcome back to Blaze Blue Calamity Trigger! Thank you so much for coming to the stream, and we just finished doing both Lychee and Arachne's stories. We're gonna move on to Bang, so we'll show him off in training mode like usual. I'm not super good with Bang, but he's okay. I don't I don't think I struggle with him. He's considered low tier in this game, but then he gets like buffed for the second game, I believe. So his musical theme is called Repu, which is Gale. So, in this game, Bang is has like moderate, moderate HP and moderate damage. Uh, he's good at mix-ups, apparently, and he also has a double air dash, being like a ninja. And he also has a few different mechanics, so... Uh, you'll see in the top left, underneath his portrait, there's a number 12 there with some nails. Some of his attacks consume these nails of his, and you only get 12 per round, so... Uh, you gotta make sure you use them sparingly, or at least, like, in tactical situations. His drive is called Burning Heart, so all his drive attacks make his body glow green, and then he attacks. If you hit- if he gets hit when it's green, you could do a counter attack, and basically like super armor your way and do a counter. However, he doesn't do it automatically. I think if you get hit when he's green, you actually have to press a button input to determine the, the counter you do, so it's not like an automatic guard or anything like that. Hitting people with burning heart attacks also gives him seals. So you can see at the bottom left of the screen, he has four seals. It's a Furin Kazan, which we it's like a Japanese war tactic. And if you fill them all up, he can go into like a super mode, where he gets like... Uh, he's unable to guard, but he gets the ability to dash in eight directions, and his attacks get a little bit stronger, I think. Or they get easier to cancel. Um, he's also good at anti-air attacks, and he changed a lot between this game and Continuum Shift. Some people say he made, they made the most amount of changes to Bang between the two games. Uh, let's have a look at his attacks. Let's start with a Taunt. What's the matter? Too scared of me to lift a finger? What's the matter? Too scared of me to lift a finger? What's the matter? Does he say anything different? Too scared of me to lift a finger? What's the I guess not. Too scared of me to lift a finger? Uh, grab. Uh, light. Then medium. And then heavy. Now, even though he's a ninja, he's, uh, I don't know, I thought he'd be speedier, but he does have a lot of ninja things. Yeah, his theme song is pretty cool, in fact, he's one of the few characters in this game to get a vocal version of his theme song too. There's a vocal version with people singing, and we'll hear it when he activates a super mode. I'll save that for a little bit later. Um, what else are Oh yeah. He has a, a special grab. So I can you can throw his nails out if I do this. Am I doing it right? Why isn't he doing it? Oh, so if I so that's not a nail, but basically this consumes nails as well. If I do this, I can press different buttons to place these bumpers down. And basically, if I jump into the bumpers, it gives me like extra height, which lets him like cancel things from the air. So it does consume nails, but it's more of like a defensive tactic. That's where you were. That's where you were. This is it. Overcome. And then I can also. How do I throw my nails? I gotta do it quicker. Is it a different command? Maybe I wrote the wrong one down.
Oh, it's, oh I can only set it in midair. Okay. Also... Yeah, so let's... So in midair, you can go... So depending on which button you press, he throws it at a different angle. And the, the color of the nails does something different. Like, one of them, like, poisons you. I think one of them, like, stuns you. Uh, I think the color of the nails is random, so it doesn't... Uh, the button you press doesn't actually do anything for that. And then... His distortion drive uses up all his nails. So if I go... Come on, Fang. Am I doing it right? Oh, it's backwards, okay. Oh, come on. I'm gonna accidentally use up- No, I used up all his nails by accident. Okay, we'll try that one again later. Um... So, here's his drive attacks. So, neutral... And then once I have all my symbols at the bottom, the Furin Kazan, can activate... Well, let me try it. Unless they change the input. Oh, here. Okay. I, I must have written down his commands from the second game, because again, they changed a lot. Come on, bang. Oh, come on, bang, please. So now he's like super fast. And then you can hear the music change too. It's like a vocal version of his theme. How long does this last? Does it just last until I get hit? So that was pretty fun. So again, that's his other distortion drive. And then... To do this one. Oh, I'm gonna keep oh, messing this up. Come on. No, if I keep messing it up, he's gonna waste all his nails again. Oh, there we go. So that attack consumes all the nails in his possession. And then let's do his astral heat. Okay, can I not do it? Oh, do I need Furin Kazan? Oh, I need it in midair, okay. Oh. Oh dang it. I need to I think I need to make the opponent jump. How do I do that? Jumping, okay. It's actually fun because in, in starting from the second game, after he does his astral finish when he poses at the end, all his clothes burn off except for his underwear, 
kind of like Sora's from Grand Blue Fantasy. So he's just kind of left there standing manly with his muscles in just his underwear. But they didn't add that in this game, so it only comes later, but uh, I think it becomes a bit of a meme in the series as well. Okay, that's enough about Bang. We'll show that off in Continuum Shift when we do Continuum Shift. Okay, uh... Okay, so Bang's, Bang's story path is pretty straightforward. Bang stories, belief. It's been four years since the central city of the Ikaruga Federation fell. Everything is burning. My master's country is covered in roaring flames. So it was enough for them to destroy our hopes for peace? Will they not rest until they've reduced the entire Ikaruga Federation to dust? Those damned librarians! Ahead of me, a group of library soldiers have quartered a crowd of civilians. They're all wielding Ars, Ar, Ars Armagus. Extermination order has been declared. All members lead. The man leading them raises his arm, and the soldiers activate their infernal weapons. They're going to burn those innocent civilians to death. Not gonna happen. My men and I leap at them with a chorus of righteous yells. They don't even have a chance to cry for help before we knock them flat. It's almost too easy. Boss Bang! Boss Bang is here! Mommy! We're gonna be okay now, aren't we? Y yes we're gonna be fine. We're saved. I turn and give the civilians a heroic smile. That's correct. There's nothing to worry about now. I tell my men to tie up the library soldiers and leave them there. No matter how evil their actions may have been, killing is never justified. The crime is to blame, not the men who commit it. I abide by my master's teachings. There will be no killings tonight. Take every single survivor and lead them to safety. At my command, my men break off into small groups to lead the civilians to safety. It looks like there are only about 30 civilians here. I can't believe these are the only survivors left in this area. A scowl crosses my face. Those library dogs. How many innocents must they kill before they're satisfied? In front of the fleeing civilians, I see a handful of men in those horrible uniforms appear from around the corner. More library dogs. There they are! Surviving soldiers and refugees! Wipe them out! Like ants converging on a dying insect, more soldiers pour out of the streets and alleys. Boss, let us take care of things here! One of my men leaps forward and moves as if to attack the library dogs. I step in front of him. No, this is my duty! You guys escape with the other villagers. No, you have to escape first, boss. The people need you more than they need us. It warms my heart to hear them say that, but this is no time for sentiment. It doesn't matter who they need. You are all people of this country, and it is my duty to see that the people survive. Leave this place to me, and go help the others. Boss! Boss Bing! Boss! The men from the library are getting closer. Go, and protect our country. But sir, the country we're supposed to protect is already... My men are confused and desperate for answers, but the library men are getting closer. You idiots! Who told you to protect a piece of land? It doesn't matter where you are, as long as there is people, there is a country. It's the people that make a country. Not its land. He knows I'm right, but it's hard to accept. I know how he feels, but if we're to survive this, we must be strong. So, we are the country. All it takes is one person to keep a country alive. Let's go! We gotta protect the people! I can tell from the determination on their faces that I don't need to worry about them anymore. We'll protect these civilians. Sir... Please be safe. Hm. I don't need you to worry about me. Who do you think I am? I'm the Ikaruga ninja who fights in the name of love and justice. Bang Shishigami! If you have time to worry about me, go save the people first. I turn and launch myself at the library soldiers. T take them out! 
I catch them by surprise, but the man I hit has time to fire off an Ars, Ars, Ars Armagus. Some sort of thing, almost akin to arrows, rains down on me. Ha! What are you firing? Toothpicks? They look at me like I'm some sort of demon. Very well, if a demon is what's needed to protect the innocent, then a demon I'll be. These men are only dogs following the orders of their master. They are no match for me. With a single move, I take out almost a dozen of them. You bastards burned down my village, but I will not take your lives. Now get out of my sight before I change my mind. Thanks for the stretch, Armon. As the library soldiers begin to drag their broken and battered bodies away, I look past them to the burning castle. As I watch, a part of the castle explodes and shivers runs down my spine. Could... could my master still be in the tower? There was no time to waste. I took off toward the castle like a gust of wind. Before long, I was near the moat. Only a few guards were left. Boss Bang! Your timing couldn't have been more perfect! He didn't need to say anything more. I knew what was happening. Without taking the time to properly thank him, I rushed through the gates and into the castle. I'll go rescue the Lord. You guys go back to town and save as many villagers as you can. Two! With sheer willpower, I leap over the moat into the castle gallery. I kick down the wall and make my way to the corridor of the tower. Flames lick the walls all around me. It's only a matter of time until the castle burns down. I shout my master's name as I run upstairs. Lord! Where are you, Lord? I throw open the door and leap into the only room on the top floor. The moment I enter, I feel a cold, vicious presence. I instinctively hop to the side as a bolt of blue and white rips through the air. What is this? Ice? I stare dumbfounded at the cluster of crystals sprouting from where I just was. How is this possible? What is ice doing in a room enveloped by flames? This. There is no fire here. Everything is frozen, bathed in blue-white light. Amidst the ice and snow, I see a crumpled figure of a man lying on the floor. He's wearing my master's clothes. A young man is standing next to my master. His face is as blank and cold as this room. My lord, are you alright? My lord, my lord! Bastard! The boy turns to look at me. His eyes are like twin shards of blue ice. Just shut up. One of his hands is suddenly a blur of motion. I don't realize he's swung his sword until I feel the pain sear its way across my face and find myself frozen in a block of ice. I expected a lot more from you. <laughs> How foolish of me. I can't move. I can feel my mind starting to fade as the boy walks out of the room. He gives me one last cold look before he leaves. I swear, I'll never forget his face as long as I live. As I make the promise to myself, the castle finally collapses. People will say this was the day Ikaruga fell, but they'll be wrong. Ikaruga didn't fall today, and it never will, not as long as Bang Shishigami is alive to protect justice, love, and the people of his country. It's been a few years since we moved to Kakutsuchi, but the people have adapted quite nicely. Though this town has been given the name Ronin Gai, it is still like a second home to myself and all of the villagers of Ikaruga. That is why I swear to protect it with my life. What are you doing there, Boss Bang? I finally got it, boss. The new wanted list. Two of my men are back from an errand I'd sent them on. I can hear them calling me from the bridge below. Is that right? I'll be right there. Duh! I'm more than 30 feet above the bridge. It's an impossible leap for most men, but Bang Shishigami is not most men. To a master of Ikaruga style ninjutsu such as myself, a leap like this is as easy as taking a step. Where did that gust come from? Boss, are you okay? Is that a new technique to fall on your face, sir? I pull my head free of the bridge and use the moment to execute a perfect backflip. My face hurts pretty badly, but to a ninja, pain is a state of mind. I can hardly call myself a man of Ikaruga if I allow myself to shed tears over a simple flesh wound such as this. I really did think I was going to die there for a minute, though. <laughs> Maybe I should just keep that to myself. Ha! Uh, that was my new technique. I pretend to fall on my face to catch my opponents off guard. 
I gotta hand it to you, boss. You are an expert on turning anything around. Looking sharp there, boss. I take a look at the wanted poster they brought me. There's a man on it with white hair and an attitude. He's pretty handsome, but he's nowhere near as manly as me. Ragnar the Bl- What? Ah, it's hard to say. Blood. Edge. Let's see. The SS class bounty commonly known as the Grim Reaper. Whoa. Largest bounty in NOL history? An impressive villain. To stand up against the Librarium all alone. But I cannot overlook the trouble he causes. Very well. His bounty, I will use it to rebuild Ikaruga. Be safe, boss. Of course. I shall return with good news. To protect the peace of Kagutsuchi and recover Ikaruga, I run. Wait for me, villain! Ragna the Blood Edge! The guardian of love and justice, Bang Shishigami, will bring you down! That's what it seems like. This is quite a serious matter. I see. That can't be ignored. <laughs> huh? That must be Lychee over there, but... Who's the man next to her? Could... could he be her boyfriend? I can't hear what they're talking about from here. No, this is just what they call eavesdropping. It's a despicable act and an affront to justice, but I can't take my mind off of my beloved Miss Lychee. Please, gods of justice, forgive me for trying so hard to overhear their conversation. Bang, I feel like we've been here before. It did not end well for you. I'll continue my research. You be careful too. Wait, Lychee! That's too dangerous. I'll be fine. Quit worrying about me. I'll see you later. Hey, Aru! Welcome to the stream! Thank you so much for stopping by! How are you doing, Aru? You doing good? Aru Dorin. Well, check out Aru when you get a chance. Very cool streamer. Plays a lot of different games. He's such a fun guy, such a nice person. Also, <laughs> oh, Lychee's mouth is still moving. Oops. Uh, go check him out, he's really cool. Thank you so much for coming by. You there! I can't stand here and let you talk to Miss Lychee like that. You're doing good? Oh, that's good to hear. I'm doing pretty good. It's been a good day, nice and relaxing. Excited to play more Blaze Blue. And who might you be? Ha! It is only polite to tell your name before asking others, but I will say it only once. I suggest you pay attention. I'm Bang Shishigami, the loyal ninja who fights for love and justice. The strongest vigilante in all of Kagutsuchi! Aren't you a little too enthusiastic? So what does a ninja like you want from me? <laughs> what do you want from me? Don't play dumb. I know that you're trying to convince Miss Lychee to join a cult or something. This is hardly a conversation. What were you saying about Lychee? Gah! That's Miss Lychee to you! I can't stand it anymore. I'll set you straight! Hager's like, what? Are you even listening to me, man? The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel, one. Action! Open it! Open it! It's just gone! <laughs> You would say poor Tager, but uh, poor anyone that has to suddenly deal with Bang, right? I also still love how Blaze Blue does a lot of this, where even if you win a fight, sometimes they'll still show the cutscene of you, like, technically losing. I mean, they do that a lot with powerful characters like Rachel and stuff, but also with characters like Bang, who always seems to get the short end of the stick. I suppose I was a little too harsh, but Lychee... Glare. <laughs> Glare. I, I understand how strongly you feel about... Miss Lychee, 
which is exactly why I'd like to ask you to look after her. Oh, I'll take her. Miss Lychee is heading for Area 28, the abandoned underground facility. I'm worried about her, but there is other business I must tend to. You're gonna leave Miss Lychee to me? So, you were a good person after all. And a good judge of character, too, I might add. <laughs> On the other hand, Bang is not a very good judge of character. I'm not a man so cold-hearted as to turn down a request. Miss Lychee will be safe with me, I promise. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> I must apologize for acting so rashly earlier. But consider that a good lesson to you. Oh, and I won't ask you to pay for it. That one's on the house. <laughs> I just beat you up, but you don't have to pay for that. I'll see you around. <laughs> He's finally out of my sight. He just couldn't take no for an answer. Nonetheless, he was an honest man. With his passion, maybe he could even save her. Well, that might be an overstatement. I've lost track of Miss Lychee. Did that cyborg guy trick me? No, no. He acknowledged me as a true man. The direction should be correct. Miss Lychee and I are connected with a powerful bond of fate. I know that our paths will cross again, even if I can't see her now. This must be a challenge to test our love. Ah, uh, Miss Lychee! I'll be right there! Shut up, old man. Stop screaming in my ear, will ya? You're ruining my appetite. How dare you call me an old man? Identify yourself! Huh? That white hair. That stupid-ass face. You must be the supervillain, Ragna the Blood Edge! What did you say? I'm the vigilante who will bring justice. And mark my words, you will not escape the iron grip of the law. <laughs> did you say you're a vigilante? I guess I have no choice then. Whenever you're ready, man, I'll crush you. I am the trustworthy ninja, Bang Shishigami! Now, let's settle this fair and square. The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel, one, action! Happening! What the? I finally caught the notorious supervillain Ragda. The uh, skip the rest. The residents of Kagutsuchi can now sleep in peace. I am now one step closer to the reconstruction of Ikaruga. I feel like I could just fly to my dear Miss Lychee. I am the wind, a love storm, passion with legs to my beloved. He's finally gone. Seriously, it's exhausting to deal with an idiot like that. Jeez, it's never easy pretending to lose. <laughs> Frogna. I like how Bang just apparently beat him up and then he just left thinking that he's going to get the bounty somehow. Oh, that must be my beautiful Miss Lychee over there. Huh? Do I see an odd-looking figure standing by her? Wait a minute. Is Miss Lychee about to be attacked by that monster? A damsel in distress! I must come to her rescue! Rescue me? From what? From that monster right there, of course! Miss Lychee, please leave it to me here and escape now! Escape? I'm sorry, I, I need to talk to him, so please don't interrupt us. M Miss Lychee? You would choose that squiggly over me? Oh, oh, I got it! 
Miss Lychee, you must be haunted by that black squiggly thingy. I shall release you from that curse. I'm quite all right. Please leave him to... Yeah, what a despicable beast. You must be controlling Miss Lychee's mind, trying to satisfy your desires by manipulating others, huh? Well, not on my watch. I am the man of love and justice. Bang Shishigami, prepare yourself! The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel, one, action! Ah, oh, he's got me bugged. Justice always prevails, and evil will never prosper. <laughs> the world is at peace, and all is right. It's all thanks to my earnest effort! Miss Lychee is staring at me, and her eyes are filled with tears. She must be so happy to have finally broken free from... <gasps> Could she have fallen in l l l l l l love with me because of my excellent performance? Okay, here we go. So, if I pick the first one, we get the true ending. If I pick the second one, it branches again to get the normal endings. Take advantage of the situation and passionately confess. Miss Lychee! I love you! Please, tell me how you feel about me. Though I do have a pretty good hunch myself. I must hear it in your own words, Miss Lychee. Of course. I think you're a good man, Bang. Oh, then that makes this affection mutual? Yes, let's stay good friends. Anyway, the problem is him. I wonder where he disappeared to. I thought I had finally found him, but I let him get away again. I'm surprised she's not angry at him at all for beating up Ar Arachne and then letting him get away. <laughs> um, Bang, what's with that stunned look on your face? C could it just be a misunderstanding on my part? Um, Bang, are you there? He seems to be out of it. So it seems like in this timeline, at least, she knows who Bang is, because we saw in the previous uh, playthrough with Lychee's story, when we did her last ending, she didn't know who Bang was. Have I made an irreversible mistake? I have lost all will to go on. What am I supposed to do now? Um, hello? Hello? Oh my, no reaction whatsoever. I wonder what has him so shocked. I don't have time for this. I need to find him now. I have no purpose in life anymore. I'm as meaningless as the dust in the wind. Ha <laughs> ha How pathetic, pathetic, pathetic! Hey, watch it. I... I'm sorry. You're Jin Kisaragi! Standing in front of me is the man I've sworn revenge on. He's pretending like he doesn't even know me. But I finally caught him. I can't let him get away now. Get out of my way, or I'll make you regret it. You... Don't tell me you already forgot how I got this scar on my face. Face? Scar? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Do I know you? Jin's eyes are as cold and expressionless as ice. There's no sign of panic in them. Does... does he really not remember me? If you have forgotten, I'll have to make you remember. You killed my lord, left a scar on my face, and put the people of Ikaruga through hell! Ikaruga? Oh, Ikaruga. So what is this? Revenge? I have no time to deal with your idiocy. 
Now get the hell out of my way. Does he feel no guilt for what he's done? Master, I never forgot your teachings. Don't blame the person, blame the evil. Not even for a moment, but... Please forgive me, but I must break my oath now. There could be no justice while this scum is allowed to walk the earth. You are one person I can never forgive. Let us settle the score right here. Prepare yourself. You seem really eager to die. The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel, one, action! Let's go! Wink! Opening! Back on! Oh god. That ought to do it, you scumbag. Heaven's vengeance is slow, but sure. Justice always prevails. Impossible. This must be a nightmare. Nightmare? No. This is reality. Fall, knowing the result of my persistent effort. My hate for this man isn't going to fade anytime soon, but he is one of the library's dogs. Before I take revenge for my country and my people, should I see what he knows? What should I do? How can I avenge my master? So, I guess here, apparently, it doesn't matter which one you choose, you still get the same ending. Uh, here, let's make him confess. Now you'll tell me everything you know about the NOL. I'm not interested in a small fish like you. I want the head of the library, who ordered the extermination of Ikaruga, the source of all that is evil. Confess now. Where is the head of the NOL? Why are you wasting my time? I need to find him. I need to find him right now! He doesn't seem to be listening to me, or he's pretending not to. I open my mouth to ask him again when... Ragna... is nearby. Yet here I am. Did you just say Ragna? I took him down for sure! Are you talking about Ragna the Blood Edge? The Grim Reaper? There's only one Ragna. And there's no way he would lose to you. Wait, that man who called himself Ragna wasn't all that strong for someone who's supposed to be the world's most wanted criminal. That man was the fake Grim Reaper? <sighs> He doesn't respond, but I get the feeling he agrees. I gotta go. For the sake of Kagutsuchi, the civilians of Ikaruga, and Miss Lychee, I've gotta find him and take him out once and for all. Your life has just been spared, Jin Kisaragi. We'll settle this next time. I suggest you be ready for it. Randomly searching for Ragna seems to have taken me into a strange place. Hmm. It is a strange place indeed. Is this really Kagutsuchi? Wait, I didn't... Oh. I picked the wrong story path. I was supposed to cool off and confess to Lychee, not take advantage of the situation. That's why this seems so weird. Oh, it's because I wrote... Oh. In my little notes here, I wrote the options reverse. I wrote one on top of the other, and then I thought it was going to be the second option instead of reading it. My bad. Well, that's okay. This is another normal ending anyways. If this looks like Kagetsuchi to you, perhaps a visit to the doctor is in order. Show yourself! I am Rachel Alucard, the lady of this castle. How did you gain entrance to my sanctum? Let's just kick him out, princess. 
That's a great idea. A, a talking swing and a flying pig? How strange. You must be monsters of some sort. I'm no pig. I'm a red bat. A bat, damn it. A talking bat is as strange as a flying pig. You must be monsters who bring disorder into the human world. Anything you don't understand is a monster. Not terribly bright, is he, Valkenheim? No, Madam Rachel. He most certainly is not. I'm not too bright? Goodness gracious. I had not even noticed the smell. Do you even bathe? Public baths are where men go to socialize. I usually wrap up each day by going to the public bath and sharing my point of view with my men. I've never passed a day without going there. Nevertheless, you reek of sweat. Ah, the sweat? Ha! Well, that just proves beyond all reasonable doubt that I am a hard-working man. And the ladies love that. I think. How you justify your stench is not my concern. You have offended my delicate senses, and I must ask that you leave. I would if I knew where I came from. Besides, without fighting my goddess like uh, the arch-villain Ragna, I can't go home. You are looking for Ragna. That's correct. I, Bang Shishigami, am a vigilante. I must change Miss Lychee's opinion of me by taking down Ragna, uh, by protecting the peace of Kagutsuchi and using the bounty for the reconstruction of Ikaruga. I don't see that happening. A man such as Ragna is somewhat beyond you. What? How can you be so sure? One need only look at you. Defeat Ragna. You're as likely to blow away the cloud of Seether that covers our world. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Even I could have told you that. It's just not the kind of job for a scruffy old man like you. I completely agree with you. It's definitely impossible. His inadequacy is almost insultingly obvious, Madam Rachel. By vote of the majority, we have determined you are not capable of defeating Ragna. <laughs> now, will you please leave my garden? What a rude little girl. If you keep that up, I'll have to spank you. Oh, bang. Oh, my. How terribly foolish of you. I accept your challenge. You have made a mistake, but I will educate you myself. Be grateful. Whenever you're ready, I'll let you practice some of your moves on me. The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel wants action! Look at Gee freaking out. Do you get it now, little girl? Justice always prevails. I do recall being told once that it is improper to judge by appearances. That's right. But I'll put the spanking on hold this time. If I'd known I would be getting a lecture, I would have given you a taste of real power. Huh? Uh, did you say something? Oh, heavens no. All right, so be it. Good lord, what a fool. Very well. You have proven yourself, and I shall reward your determination. Reward? Well, I couldn't refuse anything that is handed to me on a silver platter. I'll gladly accept it. In Madam Rachel's infinite generosity, she has seen fit to provide you with information on someone whom you are most interested in. You're talking about Ragna, aren't you? Where is he? No, sir. I refer not to Ragna the Blood Edge, but to the son of a certain Sir Tenjo of Ikaraga. Tenjo, my master, the man who was killed by Jin Kisaragi. His son is alive? I... I must investigate this. What? The young master is alive? Is this true? If you're kidding around, I'll behead you. 
cut my head off? Oh, good heavens. How terribly barbaric. It pains me to admit it, sir, but the information is regrettably rather old, and whatever details it may have carried are rendered useless by the passage of time. Rest assured, however, that it is of indubitable veracity. Tell me where that person saw the young master. I am terribly sorry, but that information is not available. All that we, and therefore you, can be sure of is that the son of Sir Tenjo was seen and identified by the party who supplied us with this information. The young master is really alive? Let's dispose of him, please. Kagatsuchi should be appropriate. I do hope I never have to see him again. Rachel was oddly accommodating, though, I have to admit. Of course, Madam Rachel. I shall return him to whence he came. Is this the Ronin guy of Kagutsuchi? Was I dreaming? Yow! This doesn't feel like a dream at all. That means I gotta get going. I must find the prince as soon as possible. Forgive me for not saying goodbye, Miss Lychee. At times, there are more important things for a man than looking after his possible wife. And that time has come. For now, I must choose duty over love. Bang Shishigami, the man of love and justice, uh, correction, the man of loyalty and faith, is about to embark upon another journey. Goodbye, Kagutsuchi. I'll be back. The alternate truth is yet to be found. Darn, I was so sure I was on his true path and then I bungled it. I'm so sorry. Oh darn it, that means I, I erased the save file with him meeting Jin, so that means we're gonna have to do that again too. Okay. Um You know what, let's just do his normal ending again. We'll do his true ending last since we flipped it around. Let's just skip through this. The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel one action! <laughs> Yeah, that's what you're Ow! Why are you suddenly so strong? At least I won't score. Ah! Bang, why are you so slow? His attacks have so much startup, too. I'm gonna lose to freaking Arakune, ah! Well, great, this is great. I, I got caught off guard. I can't believe that I gave in to this squiggly thing. I, I'm sorry, Miss Lychee. The least I can do is wish you happiness. Thud. You just say thud out loud. Darn it! This is everything's going everything's going off the rails. This is all going wrong. The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel one. Action. This is an Counter. Counter. Opening. Opening. Yeah, this is doing better. He dodged me! You bastard. Okay, we'll skip through this. Okay, so cool off was the true ending. I guess I'll just continue doing this. So now we have to beat up Jin and then pick the other option. The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel, one, 
To be fair, all this is very fitting to happen to Bang. You're right. Bang getting, Bang getting defeated by anyone is like canonical, pretty much. That ought to do it, you scumbag. Heaven's vengeance is slow, but sure. Justice always prevails. Impossible. This must be a nightmare. Nightmare? No. This is reality. Fall, knowing the result of my persistent effort. My hate for this man isn't going to fade anytime soon, but he is one of the library's dogs. Before I take revenge for my country and my people, should I see what he knows? What should I do? How can I avenge my master? Don't think this is over. I will make you feel my rage. How can I call myself loyal without even avenging the death of my lord? I'll make sure you regret that you were ever born. Taste the iron fist of justice. Repent for your sins. <laughs> that glare. You don't have an ounce of remorse, do you? All right, here comes an iron fist of... Did I just hear a crack? What is it? Did I lose control of Yukiyanasa? What, what is this piercing cold? What the hell is happening here? If someone doesn't do something, this entire area is going to be frozen. Wish I do. I need help, but who can I ask? Major, what have you done? No, you're mistaken. I didn't do it. Th this isn't good. It doesn't matter how I try to explain it. I'm still going to look like the villain here. I can tell from her eyes that she's totally misread the situation. She suspects me. What do you mean by you're mistaken? Th those clothes. Are you... one of the survivors of Ikaruka? Are you here to repay the Major's kindness for ending the Civil War with resentment? Noel, I don't know what kind of story you've been told by the NOL, but... <coughs> resentment? No, oh, no. He's truly my enemy. Hey, Melly! Welcome to the stream! Thank you so much for the raid! Hey, everyone! Hey, am I? Hey, Accord! Good to see you! Inazuma! And, uh... Trim! Thank you so much! Disaster Millennial! Welcome, welcome! Thank you so much for coming by! Here, I'll give you a shout-out. Make sure I spell your name right. Lemly. Did I miss anyone else? Hey, Nino! Welcome! Thank you so much for coming by! Hey, everyone! Oh, and thanks for being a froggy friend, Nino. I really appreciate it. If you guys haven't followed Melly yet, please go check her out. Not only is she an amazing streamer, but she's also an amazing singer and artist. She's like the full package of everything. She could do everything. And she's such a positive person and a fun person to be around. Such great energy. And her six-month anniversary is coming up. So please, give her a good follow and uh, treat her really well. She's really awesome. Hey, California Reaper. Thank you so much for coming by. Hey, everyone. Amai, thanks for being a froggy friend. How are you doing? We're playing Blaze Blue Calamity Shift. We're going through the story modes of this game. And I love this game. And I plan to play through all four games story modes. And we're going to start with the first one. So we're here doing Bang's story as well. Disaster Millennial, thank you so much for following me. Thanks for being a froggy friend. Welcome, welcome. If you don't know who I am, I'm Kiro. I am a martial artist and I like frogs. And make yourselves comfortable. Thank you so much. And Melly, I hope you had a good stream. Uh, I, I stopped by earlier and you look like you're having fun. It was great. It's always nice to, to see and kick back and relax. I know you must be a little bit tired. Thank you so much. Who's my favorite in Blaze Blue? I think my all-time favorite character has to be tied between Rachel and Hibiki. I, I love Rachel's personality, and I love H Hibiki's aesthetic. I also really like Naoto, but of course Hibiki and Naoto don't appear until Central Fiction. So I also like Ragna. Ragna's pretty cool, and I, I guess if I just had to pick Calamity Trigger, I like Ragna, but I also like Rachel and Arachne. Yeah. <laughs> we don't talk about that, that BP. We don't talk about them missing me dying. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming by, everyone. I really appreciate it. 
So we're we're playing as Bang here. We just defeated Jin, and now Noel is has caught us. Yeah, if you if you like Blaze Blue, uh, or if you like Guilty Gear, Blaze Blue is made by the same people. So yeah, Arc System games are amazing. Thank you so much again. Oh, my game just crashed out of nowhere. Why did that happen? Well, that's fantastic. I haven't had this game crash yet. Um, game? Oh, there we go. That's so weird. This game, I haven't had this game crash yet, and then, of course, it happens during Bang Story when everything's going not according to plan, and right after a raid. Yeah, the power of the raid was too much, Melly's power was too much. At least I saved, I guess. I, I guess we're just gonna have to beat up Jin again. Taste the iron fist of justice! Repent for your sins! Oh, wait, no, I already saved. Okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay, we didn't lose any progress. That's. Weird. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's keep going before something bad happens. That glare. You don't have an ounce of remorse, do you? All right. Here comes an iron fist of... Did I just hear a crack? What is it? Did I lose control of Yukianasa? What? What is this piercing cold? What the hell is happening here? You gotta eat lunch, Melly. Enjoy your lunch. Thank you so much for stopping by, and thanks for entrusting me with your audience. Again, please go check out Melly when you get a chance. Very cool streamer. Up on her six-month anniversary coming up pretty soon. And an amazing artist and singer. If someone doesn't do something, this entire area is going to be frozen. What should I do? I need help. But who can I ask? Major! What have you done? No, you're mistaken. I didn't do it. This isn't good. It doesn't matter how I try to explain it. I'm still going to look like the villain here. I can tell from her eyes that she's totally misread the situation. She suspects me. What do you mean by you're mistaken? Th those clothes. Are you... One of the survivors of Ikaruga? Are you here to repay the Major's kindness for ending the civil war with resentment? R resentment? No, no. He's truly my enemy. So, you did do this to Major... I'm Lieutenant Noel Vermillion. You're under arrest for involuntary injury in the name of the Novus Orbis Librarium. Ah, I guess I have no choice. I shall face you. Hey, please don't crash on me. The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel, one. I'll jump. Opening. Oh, I'm a Look at Oi, Tempest. Hang drop. Look at it. Successful attack. Chest door. Opening. Looks like I won. Have you come to your senses? <laughs> J just hear me out. I'm no demon. I'm not trying to kill either of you, even though you belong to the hateful library. It's true that this man, Jin Kisaragi, is my lord's archenemy. He deserves to die a hundred times over. However, an eye for an eye will leave the world blind. If I kill him, that will only plant the seed for more vengeance. A vicious cycle indeed. I fought him one-on-one -on -one and showed him his sins. I didn't want him to forget what he had done. The sin of ending lives. That's certainly something that should never be forgotten. You seem to understand what I'm saying. You must be one of the nice ones. I can almost sense the purity of the girls of Ikaruga in you. Then why did you freeze Major Kisaragi? That is where you are misunderstood. I didn't freeze him. It's this man's weapon that suddenly unleashed a gust of freezing air. Yuki Anasa did? I see. I can see that happening. I understand the situation, but there's one problem. Yuki Anasa's ice erodes life. If we don't do something right now, the Major will... This girl needs help. How can I turn her down and still call myself a man of Ikaruga? 
So all I have to do is melt this ice, huh? No worries. I'm Bang Shishigami, the top ninja of Ikaruga. I'm an expert when it comes to fire techniques. I can melt this ice cube in a second. Fire technique? Quickly then, please save the major. She clasps her hands together, as if in prayer. There's no turning back for me now. All right, you can count on me. Just take a few steps back so I can get started. Secret technique! The Crimson Flames of Hell! Rin, Hyo, To, Sha, Ke, Jin, Retsu, Sai! Damn it! I lost control of the technique! What? Lost control? Ah, we're surrounded by fire! Good job, Bang. It's out of control. I can't stop it now. What kind of excuse is that? You're under arrest for arson. How cruel. But you were the one who asked me to do it in the first place. Who asked you to surround us with the fire? Oops, I don't think any excuse will work at this point. In that case, I will make you taste my special move. Sp special move? Secret technique, the super strategic escape. <laughs> I'll see you around, little girl. Oh, great, Bang. Very, very, very heroic. Uh, wait! Ha! I'm not stopping just because you asked me to. Farewell! He... he disappeared. Is that also a ninja technique? It'd be risky to underestimate the ninja of Ikaruga. Ow, where did this hole come from? There's no avoiding it. I'm a fool. It didn't quite go as I had imagined. Next time, I'll realize my long-cherished ambition. Please provide me with your protection, Lord. The alternate truth is yet to be found. Yeah, I guess Jin is just dead in that timeline. Good job, Bang. Very heroic. Very cool. Okay, now we'll do Bang's true ending. Oh, that must be my beautiful Miss Lychee over there. Huh? Do I see an odd-looking figure standing by her? Wait a minute. Is Miss Lychee about to be attacked by that monster? A damsel in distress! I must come to her rescue! Rescue me? From what? From that monster right there, of course! Miss Lychee, please leave it to me here and escape now! Escape? I'm sorry, I, I need to talk to him, so please don't interrupt us. M Miss Lychee? You would choose that squiggly over me? Oh, oh, I got it. Miss Lychee, you must be haunted by that black squiggly thingy. I shall release you from that curse. I'm quite all right. Please leave him to... Yeah, what a despicable beast. You must be controlling Miss Lychee's mind, trying to satisfy your desires by manipulating others, huh? Well, not on my watch. I am the man of love and justice. Bang Shishigami, prepare yourself! Okay, let's do this right this time. The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel, one, action! Joy Tempest, and drop! Pulverizing fist! She got me in hidden arm. Oh, he dodged me again. Justice always prevails, and evil will never prosper! Ha 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 ha! The world is at peace and all is right. It's all thanks to my earnest effort! Miss Lychee is staring at me, and her eyes are filled with tears. She must be so happy to have finally broken free from... <gasps> Could she have fallen in love with me because of my excellent performance? Okay, so to get to the true ending, we have to cool off. G calm down. Just calm down and think. The timing couldn't be better, could it? 
Miss Lychee's opinion of me must be skyrocketing right now. Hmm. As a gentleman, I am obliged to come up with the ultimate confession a woman can want. I, Bang Shishigami, will risk everything on this. He can't be too far. I must find him. <sighs> Miss Lychee? Where are you? Hmm. Miss Lychee's mesmerizing scent seems to be coming from that direction. I can't just stand here and do nothing. I gotta follow Miss Lychee, or that large man will lose all faith in me. Phew. That was something else. But I wonder where he went. Take that sunny sunshine, defeat some bad guy. Cat people are so strong, Tao is all so strong, la la. Huh? Is that you over there, booby lady? Long time no see, meow! Oh, hi, Tao. Yes, it's been a while. You're as bouncy as always, booby lady! Tao, watch it there. I... I said knock it off. This is sexual harassment. Meow, meow! I'm having so much fun, meow! They're wonderful chunks of meat that are as tempting as catnip, meow! Tao, please! <laughs> don't do that. Hey! That's enough! That hurt, meow! I'm sorry. I'm just... I'll forgive you if you let me play with your boobies again. Tao! That's out of the question. You're mean, meow. That's fine by me. By the way, booby lady, you seem troubled. What's the matter, meow? Are you hungry? I have some dried sardines if you want, meow. N no, thank you. But I do need help. He... Well, let me put it this way. Have you seen a black squiggly thing before? No, I haven't, meow. Oh, I see. What am I gonna do? Miss Lychee! Where are you? People that you don't want around you are always nearby for some reason. Oh, it's becoming a problem. You need those who are coming after you gone. Is that it, booby lady? Let me take care of it for you, meow. If it goes well, I want something in return. I can't exactly work for free, you know. I'm looking for a man called Ragna. If you can either tell me where he is or, uh, give me a lot of meat buns, consider it done. Which one sounds better to you, Meow? Hmm, let's see. Oh, I like how I'm suddenly controlling Lychee now in this story. Uh, I don't think it matters which one you say, still the story goes the same. The person who's about to walk by probably knows where Ragna is. The person who's about to walk by will buy some buns for you. Uh, let's do the buns. The person after you is going to treat me to some meat buns, Meow? Really? I'd love to treat you to some myself, but I'm sort of in a hurry right now. So try and ask that man there for it, okay? Thanks for the tip, booby lady. I'll be right there, meat bun man, Meow! She really left. I was only half joking. But I guess it's for the best. I have to find him while I still can. Scruffy man right there, you gotta give me some meat buns, meow! Meat buns? Unfortunately, I don't have any on me. You're lying! Booby lady said you treat me to some meat buns! You don't need to hold back, meow! Feel free to give me all you've got! Yeah, you're kidding, right? Then, I guess I'll have to rob you. <laughs> I guess I'll just have to rob you. What's your reasoning for it? You know what they do to bad kids like you. It's time for a spanking! Bang, what is up with you and spanking? The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel, one, action! This is a new kick boy, Tempest! And drop! Meow. I lost meow. I wonder what that child wanted. Oops, I have no time for this. 
I gotta go after Miss Lychee. Miss Lychee! I'll be right there! Pathetic insect. The Azure has drawn you here, but you have reached your limit. This is the end for you. Your magic powers don't I for it. You allowed yourself to become corrupted by the wisdom that lies beyond the boundary. The magic that I wield would utterly destroy you. I will grant your release now. I suggest you return to the boundary what you have borrowed. Hold it! Who are you? Surely you cannot think to stop me. <sighs> you refuse to admit the truth. If that creature was once human, it left that world long ago. He has no reason to live. I know. But I can't just stand here and watch him die. Then the two of you shall depart for the boundary together. Prepare yourself. Goodbye, foolish child. Whoa! That looks like Miss Lychee over there. She's protecting that black squiggly thing again? And more importantly, she chose it over me? No, this isn't the time to get jealous. I'll be right there, Miss Lychee! Not on my watch. Bang. I'm sorry I'm a little late, but you have nothing to worry about now. Bang Shishigami will protect both you and that black squiggly thingy. A ninja of Ikariga, are you? Step aside or condemn yourself to my wrath. There are no men in Ikaruga who would back off because they were told so. You're the one who needs to get ready for this. Let's settle this fair and square! You have made your choice then. Prepare yourself. I am Hakumen. The end has come. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Hakumen always gives me trouble when I'm playing a character I'm unfamiliar with. The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel, one, action! Opening! Ow. Dang it. Oh. Ha <laughs> He tried to do his special, then stopped guarding. Idiot. Oh, you dodged it. How dare you. It seems I am victorious. Impressive. Your spirit is strong, but it makes little difference. With blade in hand shall I reap the sins of this world and cleanse it in the fires of destruction. The end has come. My Chris, no end. May see, may see, Seether is escalating indefinitely. This is just like what happened to Iruma. It, it can't be! Now is the time, Ninja of Ikaruga. We have not yet finished. W wait Aren't you aware of what's happening here? Yes, it has begun. But there is yet time. I cannot afford to lose the likes of you. <laughs> I guess I have no other choice then. Miss Lychee, please get out of here with that squiggly thingy. Let me handle this. But the gate is out of control now. If this goes on, this place will be wiped out, just like Iruma. You'll die for sure if you get dragged into it. There's nothing to worry about. As soon as I finish him off, I'll be right behind you. I'll see you at the bar in Orient Town. Would you like to have a drink with me there? I will. I'll be waiting for you. All right now, that's enough warm-up. Check this out. This is the master art of the Ikaruga Ninja! <laughs> Here's my running away jutsu that I used on Noel. <laughs> Prepare yourself. Oh!
On the lowest of 13 layers, which are Kagutsuchi, the Kaka clan has taken residence. But here, there is no sky and no stars. Wait, why is the narrator talking again? Is this another joke ending? But this is supposed to be his true ending. The skyscraping structures on higher levels had completely covered the sky. However, there was once a man who reclaimed the tattered sky of the Kaka village. The man's name? Bang Shishigami. A real man who put others' lives before his own in the Kagutsuchi Gate incident, saving not only the Kaka clan, but the entire city of Kagutsuchi. Inevitably, irreversible damage has been done to the Kaka village. Bang's destruction of higher layers has caused, once again, rays of light to shine upon the villagers of Kaka. Yeah, it's Bang. All his, joke, all his endings are joke endings, aren't they? Strange how the first ending we got actually felt more like his true ending than this one. And usually I save the joke ending for last, and this one feels more like a joke ending, despite being its true one. Everything's topsy-turvy today. In the Kaka clan, the heroic tales of Bang Shishigami have been passed from generation to generation. As a folktale of the man who stole back the sun. Take this! Ugh. Super special technique! Catch an opponent off guard by making it look like I fall on my face! Oh, I can't believe it! You totally got me! It's my turn to be Boss Bang now! No, it's my turn! It's my turn! It's mine! I want to play Boss Bang too! Yeah! Take this humongous nail! Ultimate technique for Ring Kazan! Everybody be nice to each other, meow! No fighting! If Scruffy Man of Love and Justice sees this, he will get mad in heaven! Okay... Good answer! I'm sure that makes the Scruffy Man happy, Meow! It's getting dark, so let's all go home. You've met Boss Bang before, right, Tao? Yeah... It was a long time ago, though. He was such a Scruffy Man! <gasps> Boss Bing must have been so strong! Though not as strong as Tao, but he sure was. If he was really that strong, why did he have to go to heaven? He wanted to bring back the sky upon the village of Kaka Meow. Look, Meow! The scruffy man is watching over us to make sure everybody is happy from up there. Let's all say thank you to him now. Ready? Thank you, Scruffy Man! Oh, they're so cute. Bang stories, belief end. Why is his true ending his joke ending? I mean, of all characters, it makes sense for him to be it, but I almost feel like doing his normal endings first and then his true ending, even though I did it by accident in that order, seems somehow... it worked out? Question mark? So all we have left is Carl, and I hate playing as Carl because I'm so bad at him. And then once we finish Carl's story, we'll unlock Hakumin and New 13's story. Completing those, we'll get the true ending, and then we'll be done Calamity Trigger. So that's really exciting. I think I'm going to leave it here for today. We usually don't do three stories in one stream, and it seems like it was just the perfect amount of time. So we did Lychee, Arachne, and Bang today. Yeah, that was just peak Bang. The whole Bang storyline and even the stream crashing and picking the wrong ending and losing to Arachne is peak Bang as well. So, uh, next time we're going to do Carl and then we'll unlock Hakumin and New 13 and do them. And then the stream after that would be the, the true ending stream. Yeah, I did them in completely the wrong order and yet it felt like the correct order, right? The first one felt like the most true ending because he found out the whereabouts of his master's son. And then the second one was kind of jokey, and then the third one was like complete jokey, so it was like, <laughs> what am I to believe here? That's kind of good, that's kind of funny. I'm kind of glad it worked out that way, but at the same time I'm kind of baffled in myself. Okay, let's have a look at uh, Twitch, oops. And see who's streaming. It looks like... Oh, it looks like Kyle's streaming again. Let's uh, drop in on him. I think he's doing a... Oh, he's doing a 10,000 uh, follower celebration. That's exciting. Okay, so 
I will see you guys in the next stream. We're going to be doing Carl Huckerman at New 13. And thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate all the raids. I appreciate all the follows. You guys are always amazing. And it's always a pleasure to have you. I hope you had a good time. And I'll see you next time. Stick around for a raid. And hope you have a good night. Take care. Bye-bye.